All right, what's up guys? So back with another video today. So today I just want to talk about something. We mentioned it before in a couple videos, but I figured, you know, this is such a hot topic. Let me just make, you know, make a, a video dedicated. It's been a, a bit of an issue regarding the new Melty Blood. So the new Melty Blood, you know, there are a lot of veterans, salty old players such as myself, you know, we're excited for the new things, but some of the newer generation, some of the younger kids, they're not really buying it, right? They're not really getting into the hype. So this is maybe the, the face of the movement here is Mr. Young, hook gang god right here. Famous quote here, this hey. bitch is dripless. Like, look at that outfit, right? Look at this outfit right here. Walmart jeans and a white t-shirt, man. Where is the drip? So, I mean, if anybody knows about drip, of course, if, if you're not familiar, it's hook. Hook is it, look, he's, he's dripped out right there. Dragon Ball hoodie, thrasher t-shirt. Who's he with? I don't know who he's hanging out with, but yeah. He's dripped out, so he's a good, you know, hook is a, a good source of judging that. But on the other hand, you know, there's people like Obama. So, you know, Hook and Obama being going out of war right now. So Obama says, if Melly Blood characters are boring or uninspired to you, you might be racist. So this is basically it, right? There's two sides of the story right now. Do Melly Blood characters have drip or do they have no drip? So I'm an impartial judge. You know, I, I'm not, I don't have my, my horse in any race. I'm going to stand right in the middle. And today, I will break down every character we're going to find out. Do Melly Blood characters have drip or no drip? But before that, you know, if I'm going to be the official drip inspector today, I got to get ready. So hold on one second. Ready? We are back. We are back. We are supremed out. I got the AirPods in and everything. I got the indoor shades, man. We're fully dripped out here. Put me in Melty Blood. You put me in Melty Blood. Uh, uh. <laughs> I got to get the waves, man. I need to get... I gotta get the waves in the the pierced ear. I gotta maximize the drip. But anyway, I got I'm I'm the drip inspector. I will be the drip inspector of the day. So let's just run through. I got a very easy list: drip or dripless. So let's break it down. We're gonna tally each character here, and by the end, we're gonna find out: do multi blood characters have drip, or are they dripless? Okay. So let's go. All right, we're starting from the top. So first one right off the bat: Alzaki Elko. That's a dripless for me. That's one dripless. Come on, man. There's no drip. She got a white t-shirt and jeans. That's dripless. Hook was right. Dripless one. Next. Tono Shiki. That's easy. Dripless. That's that's beyond free. Super, super dripless right there. Next up. Oh, damn. Look at that. Archetype Earth. Now that's she's dripped out. Look at that. She the hair flowing. She got the beautiful, the beautiful gown and everything. They added her in later, too. They know that. Anyway. Ho! Oh! Who is this man? This is a drip god. Now this guy is dripless. This guy's a drip god. Look at him. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him three points. He gets three. So right now, drip's winning. Next up. Oh my god, another one. What was Hook talking about? Kishima Koma dripped out right there. And he's in he's in type Lumina, so he's definitely in there. Alright, next up. What am I supposed to say about this one, man? Slight drip? She's too young to be drippy. That's dripless. Next up. No. Get out of here. This is this Obama's girl? No. No drip at all. I can't stand this this nun. No drip. This is this is negative drip right here. So I, okay. No, this she's alright. She's alright. Anime generic stuff. She got the long ponytail. She got a nice hat. You know I'm a sucker for hats. That's why I like Guilty Gear so much. They all got the hats. That's drip. She gets one point for drip. Oh, roast beef. Another. This is definitely that's one. She's cool as hell, right? She's cool as hell. She dripped out. This is uh the, the good version, the evil version. Shout out to Spooky. This is Spooky's character. This is Spooky's character. You know, I'll, I'll put her on the drip list. Aug is a Spooky. Now, here we go. This might be this might be up there. He's tied up here, I think, with uh with Nania. This is another drip lord right here. He's getting... If Nania got three, I'm going to give two points here for Wara. So, Wara gets two. Next up. Michael Rella, Michael Rella, another man. What's going on, dude? We're not even halfway through, and this list is is overflowing with the drip. That's that's super drip right there. Now this is where things get bad. This is dripless, and this is two characters. That's double dripless. That's two points on the dripless side. But you know they're maids. No, get out of here. You got to play the story. If you played the if you played the VN for 40, 40 hours, you understand how drippy they are. Get out of here. No, uh oh, no. Uh oh, boys. Uh oh, the dripless side is catching up. I think, I think they, I think the Melty Blood dudes they they put all the cool characters at the top, and they put all the stinkers at the bottom. So this might be this might be a, a dripless comeback. 
Come on, man. You can't even lie to me. They 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 turn into saber because she's so dripless in this one. That's dripless. Looking like my grandma out here. Looking like my grandma out here. All right, Power Tail. She's cool. You know, CL's whack. Power Tail's cool though. All right, we'll give we'll give a we'll give her a point. Now this one's kind of cool. You know, this is dripless. This is a grandma, but you know the the Wark Wark gets one. We'll add her up there. She got the hair. Look, she got the rugged hairstyle. You, you love to see it. You love to see it. Aki Vermillion. Aki Vermillion's okay. This one, regular Aki? No. This is dripless. This is dripful. Add it. Put her on the team right here. Mecha Sui. You know, if you look at the portrait, if you look at the portrait, the portrait counts as, as some drip. But look at her character sprite. She's literally just a generic maid. That's dripless. They got to make her look more like a robot in her in her uh, neutral pose right there. No. Could you have a more generic character? Could you have a more generic character in this game? This one? Or this one? Who's who's more generic? Don't let Obama hear me saying that, though. Don't let Obama... She got a headband on, Juna. Juna, look at her headband. Look at her headband. Another one. No. With the twin tails, you're just giving me different schoolgirls with different hairstyles. No. No. And not only that, I can't stand fighting this character. I don't want, I hope they don't bring Len back ever, dude. Uh-oh. Now we're talking. Now what about this one? This, this is free. See? You know, they, a lot of the, the Melty Defenders, they talk about simplicity. They're like, oh, Junior, you don't understand simplicity. This is what a simple design is. No, this is a generic ass schoolgirl. This is simple, and this is this is a cool ass design. I'm gonna give that's that's I'm gonna give Yogi two points, right? You can be simple and still be super cool, but you also be simple and be super generic. So she has a new like everyone's clowning on uh, Alka's outfit. So apparently they they gave her a new outfit where like her belly button showing and she's got like flares and stuff. See, they admitted Nasu admitted he's like, man, we gotta give some drip to this girl. But not Yogi. Yogi. Yogi's uh good. Now that's drippy right there. You got to be brave to wear all white. So this is boring, right? This is boring, generic, but all white. You know, rocking the all white out there. You just eat ramen. You spill one thing. Your whole outfit's ruined. Takes a lot of confidence. Give the white land. Now narrow. Yes. This guy looks like <laughs> the dude's that a, a flasher. He's the flasher in the park. What's under that trench coat? We don't know. But he he's definitely up there. He got the cool haircut too, man. This is two points. This is two points on the dripless side. I made that video. I made that video talking about Neko Arc and Neko Arc Chaos and the, the YouTube monsters were going crazy. I I still stand by that. This this is two points on the dripless side. And he's smoking. That's a that's minus one point right there. That's five that's three. So now there's five, five, five. Right now the score, by the way, we only we only have five characters left. The score is 18 drip, 15 dripless. I think I missed one. I forget. But here we go. And it's not looking good, boys. It's not looking good. It's not looking good down here. Do I add these back? Because that's dripless, 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 dripless. But these are all these are all dupes. These are all dupes. Does that count? Because that that's one, two, three, four, five. That's seven. That's seven. Does it count? We need the rules. I'm so I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to, you know, take sides. I just gotta follow the rules, man. They're in the game, they're playable characters. That's one. Dripless, dripless, I'm sorry. Nope. Please have some sort of personality not made. I'm sorry, Obama. Nope. Oh no oh, this is made with a broom. It's much much better design. I'm sorry. Dripless. Dripless, dripless. With that, boys, I think I think the 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 count is over. I think it's sealed right here. If you if you want to see it, it's Melty Blood's fault. You know, at the end of the day, it's Melty's fault. Look, there it is. There's the count. As you see, even though it's blurry, dripless. We we've done it. The scientific method, the scientific method, the last second, the last inning comeback. It is confirmed. It is confirmed. Hook Gang God was right. Hook Gang God 
the man on the left right there, he knew all along. Melty Blood does not have any drip. But again, you know, if you really want to, if you really want to try and, try and, uh, you know, make an excuse, put an asterisk, it's, it's all clone characters, right? If, if they, this game didn't have so many clone characters, then, you know, the cool characters could have won. Instead of having clones of, like, Nania, clones of Coma, clones of War, they have clones of maids and schoolgirls, right? Hopefully, Type Lumina will take rid of that. They'll get rid of that, though, right? Hopefully, we'll lose all the, these clones in Type Lumina. We'll have more unique characters, more cool characters, and the the Drip Gods can take over. Anyway, let me know what you think. I know these guys are angry. I, I got attacked, man. I, I made a tweet. I made, like, a joke tweet about my Ramethal in Tim's and... Uh, uh, a, a baseball cap. Melty fans, Tsukimi fans, they went after me on Twitter. I had like 50 dudes in my mention. Defending Aoko's, defending Aoko's design, saying like Guilty Gear is trash. These guys are serious. They they really, they really want to stand up and fight for their, their character. So, if you're one of these guys that wants to fight for your character, let me know. Do you agree with my list? Do you want a recount? Could it be a recount? Was the math wrong? Do we need to do it again? I don't know. Leave a, leave an opinion. Let me know where you disagree. I, I already expect a, I expect all the maid fans and all the uh, schoolgirl fans come out. Dude, you can't appreciate a good design. Then why am I wearing a Supreme shirt? Huh? Why why do I have a Supreme shirt on if I don't understand what good design is? How about that? That's proof. That's proof right there. Are there other color palettes? There's every character is what? Like 30 different colors? The colors in this game are godlike. And Type Lumina has a, has a color editor. So there's infinite colors in type lumina the colors in melty are so good because they're weird whenever i play fighting game i want the weirder the better so like strive strive not just strive arxis in general even like exert was like that a lot of the colors are uh are very like safe so like let's just look at Right, so these, look at all the different just like colors, right? So these are different like base colors, but then they start getting like weirder, right? Like, look at this, like blue skin, orange coat, purple hair. This one's cool. I play that color. Right, it's a lot of a lot of variety. Hits are actually kind of plain too. If you look at like the newer characters, like we were looking at at her earlier. Skirt changes, but stuff like this. So, you know, this, whenever I, I pick character, I want a character to have weird colors like that. Weird colors, I mean. Pink, blue, yellow. Her hair doesn't change up. I guess that's her lure, right? It changes in the, the whatever. But yeah, looking forward to the color editor mode. Hopefully, we'll see how many colors we can get there. But yeah, anyway, long video. Just for fun. I like, you know, I like the character designs. They're simple. They, But at the same time, you can't, you can't ignore the fact that they are very, very generic. But if you play the game, play the VN, they're not generic. But th We're talking about people like Leffen and Hook. People that, they've never, they're not gonna get involved with any of that. They just see, you know, this. They just see a maid, a schoolgirl. Like, the designs are not going to attract all those Zoomers. And I'm not saying they have to, right? That, that's the whole point, is they don't have to. There's no need for them to, to bend the knee and be like, oh, you know what? Let's put some belts on these characters. Let's put some belts on these characters and, and try and get the kids in here. But at the same time, Obama, you just have to, you just have to relax, man. You just have to relax and be like, all right, I can't convince these kids. I can't convince these kids. They're gonna like what they like, and we're gonna like what we like. We just have to, uh, we just have to live with it. But uh, yeah, there we go, rambling again. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And like always, you still watch it. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.